Okay, so how do we complete neutralization reactions from scratch? Well, if you know the acid and you know the base, you can find the water and salt very easily. And these are also remarkably easy to balance. You see, every H needs an equal number of OHs in order to neutralize. The H from the acid and the OH from the base come together to form water, HOH. The Na and the Cl come together to form NaCl. What about charges? Well, this is just a double replacement reaction. So whatever the charges are on the left side, they're going to be the same charges on the right side. And that makes formula writing tremendously easy. This acid has two H's. That means we're going to need two OH's to neutralize them. This means we're going to make two HOH's. Two H's, two OH's, two HOH's. Two waters. Plus, well, because it's double replacement again, the charges remain the same. Plus one, minus two, plus one, minus one. We're going to get K and SO4. Plus one, minus two. Well, that's the formula, right? So, therefore, oh, look at that, it's balanced. Two Ks, two Ks. Isn't that nice? Double replacement just works out really great this way. This acid contains three hydrogens. This base contains two hydroxides. So multiply them. Three times two is six. So when we're done, we're going to make six waters. All right, well, how many H's do we need to do that? Six. Two times three is six. How many OH's do we need to do that? Six. Two times three is six. Then we're going to have calcium and phosphate. Calcium is plus two. Phosphate's minus three. Ca3, PO4, two. Hey, look, it's balanced. Three Ca's, two PO4's. By balancing the hydrogens and the hydroxides, you automatically properly balance the calciums and the phosphates. Is that cool or what? The formula that contains the H plus is the acid. The formula that contains the OH minus, that's the base. And the ionic compound you form from this neutralization is called the salt. You can write water as H2O if you like. It's just that when completing these reactions, it's actually easier to write water as HOH. That way you can see very clearly how things are balancing out in the neutralization reaction.